Well, I use the library almost every day, so um, I find it really helpful with the wireless in there. I always bring my laptop in and it's, it's really fast to use. And then if I have any trouble, the librarians are always so helpful. Yeah, I find the library useful, especially during exam times. And uh, I find it's very quiet. It's more quiet than home. Uh, certainly with health science, it's a very enjoyable space to study. Uh, it's very comfortable, you have a lot of space, there's a lot of uh, plugs to use. There's always a nice amount of space in the library, you know. You can always sit down and get comfortable. Even if you don't really need to study, it's always good to go in and have a read or something, even read the paper, you know. It is one of the best places on campus to sort of relax. It's just so much material there that it can be good and bad because sometimes you just spend ages reading stuff that sounds very interesting but isn't really useful to what you're studying but more knowledge you know it's all it's all good. As an international student so um, you know like first time when I come here and I don't know anything but they were so helpful and uh, just very patient with even very simple questions. I'm teaching during the day from about nine to half three so after that I come across across the UCD into the library and I'm there for the rest of the night. So that's, it's great for me that the library service is, is open and stays open until around the 11 o'clock mark most nights of the week, you know. And even at the weekends as well, when again I have to catch up on work that I might have missed out on during the week, I can come in on a Saturday for all day, Sunday all day. In addition to, you know, like, um, like books, or databases sort of thing, they give you additional information which can help you facilitate your study. When I used to end load, you know, that sort of training, I find out actually in the library, I ask the staff. You got this uh, sofas there and uh, you got magazines downstairs and newspapers, so sometimes when uh, I feel I've studied too much, you know, I want to read something that is different, I can come down to read something that is different. Electronic resources are always available and they're also searchable, which is great. I use the resources to find research papers online because I'm in my final year, like a lot of our stuff isn't really found in books anymore because we need to talk about current research at the minute, so I would use the research papers online. So I, was, I wasn't able to get in to get some reference books that I needed for essays during the exams, and I was just able to go onto the databases, like, like I said, JSTOR, and there's, a, there's tons more, especially yeah. for English as well, like the old Oxford English Dictionary and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of databases that are available. We um, did a project coming up to Christmas and I used the e-journals and they were actually very good, very handy to get on in your laptop at home, yeah. The short term loan section is so easy to use and it seems to have all the core books that you'd really need. Most of the main textbooks and everything are in there which makes it so easy, you just literally go in get your book and go out. We got a tutorial on the uh, library tutorial on the catalog and that was so helpful for me because it I didn't know how to use it before then but the staff were so good during that tutorial and they just showed me how to use everything on it. It kind of gives you a overall picture of how the library works and how can you actually become functional in a sense. You have to uh, uh, find an area that suits you. Uh, so certain areas are noisy areas, uh, so around the photocopy and all that. And that can actually be quite good because it's, uh, it, it, because there's a certain buzz, you can do things like staple and you can flip pages around and you don't feel that you're, uh, you're interrupting other people. I always go up onto the first floor on the left, you know, the history area where you're not allowed to use any of the laptops or anything because it's really quiet there. I like the tables where you're enclosed, you have space for yourself, you can spread your stuff out without people interfering or looking in or losing stuff. I find uh, UCD Library is quite useful in terms of the environment. So I did my, uh, most of the studies in the postgraduate room, the research room. Another great thing is the fact that it's all self-service. It saves a lot of queuing and effort and it makes everything very easy because when you're stressed now about exams and essays, the last thing you want is then to stress about books and sources as well. But the library makes it all very easy and it all goes very smoothly. In general, I find it a very enjoyable place to study and I spend a lot of time there. If you're in there working, like it's an amazing library. The best thing has to be just the amount of books and the amount of good sources there is. I'll say if you go into the library uh, anytime, you, you'll be welcome and you'll have a good study time. So it's a good experience. I hope if you've not experienced it, try it.